Hi Capricorn, this is your next 10 days reading starting from 1st of January to the 9th of January. This is a period of your birthday as well. People having the zodiac sign of Capricorn, this is your season. Many happy returns for your special days. I give you all my blessings, my uh, best wishes uh, for your special days. And uh, let's start the reading. So generally on your mind is an ending uh, a, an ending is happening in uh, your situation something is gotten over finally you are getting over something with lot of planning scheming uh, with the seven of swords planning scheming um, and taking yourself out of some situation without getting scratched i am seeing this uh, the it is clarified by the fool and the star so fool and the star means that you will be taking risk in this time period because you are positive about good results in the future so this can be you know money coming in compensation of some sort will be gotten in this time period and your money situation will equalize a loan can be granted to you in this time period and six of cups is telling me uh, that old friends old uh, you know family members siblings uh, are going to be around you they will be protecting you your loved one your soulmate will be with you reciprocation of love will take place and harmony will be uh, found in this uh, exact time period of today tomorrow uh, so as you move forward in the first 10 days of january uh, uh, two of cups is telling me that <clears throat> a new situation is starting in your life it can be conversation with a loved one soulful conversations it can be a new relationship it can be a new beginning in uh, you know profession or job it can be something which will give you a very good feeling it will give you feelings of love uh, and starting of love for many of you um, but you could be challenged by uh, you know what you have invested in in so far and uh, how can i move forward from this how can i move forward how can i go to a new situation you could be feeling that because you have invested in something uh, and you have been working for something so what is challenging you is the temperance card so temperance challenge can mean that uh, you are not being able to uh, you know feel totally at peace or feel healed in a situation so there can be too much thinking in the mind uh, it can be connected to what you have invested in whether it is your profession or personal situation so uh, though the new situation is starting for you you are challenged with the temperance and you are also getting some uh, feelings of lack you are you know you know that doors are there which uh, which are uh, which are uh, showing light in the darkness but you still don't want to go towards it maybe your pride is stopping you or uh, you need to heal you need to heal so some of you need rest to uh, you know get fully uh, you know um, prepared for a new situation in your life because the new situation is happening uh, because you will be taking that leap of faith in this time period with the star so fool and the star is there and you are going to start something so final decision regarding things will be done in this time period so uh, the magician and the world card is telling me that definitely something that you have manifested something which you have dreamt of is going to happen in this time period so a big energies of completion big energies of starting an upgraded life starting a situation that you will be able to give birth to so the magician and the world are the best cards of new starts uh, the best card of accomplishment something you needed to close will be closed finally for sure uh, despite the you know a feeling of lack despite the feeling the imposter syndrome is there 
that whether i be able to do this whether i'll be able to do that you know these questions will be giving you a situation of self doubt but finally with the magician you are manifesting that goal which you have always gone for and finally you will be changing your life cycle changing your life cycle with a new situation and it can be a situation with a uh, uh, king of swords it can be a person around you who could be very uh, sharp very smart uh this this person could be very matter of fact uh, but this person is a great uh, person to have uh, in this journey so the fool and the star will be accompanied by uh, so you yourself will be accompanied by a aquarius libra gemini energy uh, they understand your situations they understand the ten of swords that you have gone through the decline the ruin which you have gone through already so you will be or you will be taking up this energy in the month of uh, january uh, to be very direct very honest uh, in your behavior and uh, that is showing with the empress and the hierophant so empress and the hierophant means love or commitment in love promise promises of work starting a new company in your name with another person good partnership good commitment uh, organizational abilities uh, you know starting a commitment with someone uh, launching yourself in a new business uh, you know getting married or getting committed to someone who is very lovable could be a taurus or a libra <coughs> um some of you getting committed towards motherhood uh, wanting to uh, secure uh, you know a life of stability with your children uh, so this is a kind of or a love situation will culminate into uh, a marriage for many of you so this can be uh, a situation of growth and commitment growth and stability growth with the society growth with a partner so all these things are starting in your life in this time it is going to give you the nine of cups wish fulfillment uh, with a um, mother of swords with a feminine energy of the queen so the king and queen of swords are coming in this so there is an intellectual partnership with someone uh, there is a long term view of life and there is achievement of success in that and uh, with the six of wands a short term victory is predicted in these 10 days so the outcome energy in this time period is the king of pentacles so you are going to become the king of pentacles which is your best energy you will be the king of pentacles you will be the provider giver uh, attract someone who attracts someone who attracts money someone who attracts lucrative proposals someone who can be sitting on a stable throne someone who is uh, ready to uh, make sacrifices to Uh, bring stability in partnerships bring stability in money situation so you will be doing that so how you are going to do that is by recharging your batteries you are going to recharge some of you will take a break some of you uh, will uh, come out of a break or a sadness in your life uh, and with the uh, knight of wands energy you are going to change your direction you are going to make a new start you are going to go for new passion in your life breaking the barriers of stalemates or stagnancy in your life so great new life situation coming for you in the first 10 days in your birth month definitely great great energy so from 1st january to the 9th january of 2024 10 january of 2024 you are moving into a stable new situation by changing or shifting a job a love situation a life cycle definitely your line 
uh, of passion is starting once again so let's read out a angels and ancestors oracle card for you so so with the with this card i am sure my reading is correct so it is telling us that choose your path with the direction guardian so changing of direction is for sure so right now you need to choose your path correctly connect with your deeper desires then choose the path that will make your heart and soul sing uh, the direction guardian card represents the angels of direction these amazing angels are ones who come in to us come to us when we are at a crossroad and uh, don't know which way to go uh, but i am seeing in these 10 days you are closing one cycle and moving very assuredly towards a new direction and you will be growing uh, the direction guardian card refers to the vision of the hebrew prophet ezekiel who is said to have seen an angel with four different faces one was a child uh, or a cherub one was a bull one was a lion and one was an eagle uh, so see how there are four different faces of this angel and uh, so so angels appear in many guises so your path isn't set in stone and your angels and guides have no expectations for you nor should you have any for yourself there are many directions you can take none of them are wrong as they all hold perfect opportunities to grow and to learn but life is to be enjoyed and savored so if you know that there is a decision to be made and particularly if you are feeling indecisive choose the path you know is going to make you light up and choose with your heart so this is what angels are telling you so nothing is wrong in this time period you need to just enjoy your time take that leap of faith that you will be taking in this time period and star will be your guide so so star will guide you in this time period and i am seeing good results so changing your gears changing your direction uh, with whatever lessons you have learned in your life take that risk and it is going to fructify your dreams so uh, if you have liked this reading please like and subscribe if you have something to say to me write it in the comment box uh, if you want to write to me my email id is there in the description box uh, for uh, personal readings you can contact me through the email id and i will let you know how to book my readings uh, so you can get your um, you know uh, year uh, predictions uh, for next year uh, uh, by being face to face with me specifically I will uh, show you how your year looks like or you can just do topical discussions with me and find answers for your queries so uh, please keep watching my channel thanks for being there thanks for being uh, the positive uh, you know uh, audience for me uh, so thank you so much and uh, i want to uh, acknowledge all the support i get from the capricorns and uh, i would like you to bring in more capricorns to the channel it is doing the best as uh, a group the capricorns watch my channel the most so thank you so much thank you for all the love and uh, keep watching bye bye